Welcome to the series of Walk and Talk. Today we are outside the Clinical Development Center of Sinjin and we will be talking to Chetan who is the head of clinical development and carries a rich experience of 25 years. Let's talk to Chetan. Hi Chetan, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, us. how are you? Good morning, I'm doing good, thank you. Chetan, you have a vast and varied experience in this domain. Uh, tell me, what are the things that uh, customers look in a typical clinical trial partner? Sure. Uh, at at Sinjin Clinical Development, you know, our customers are varied. So some are generic pharma companies, some are big pharma companies who place their uh, biomedical work for their clinical trials. There are some small biotech companies who rely on our expertise of our understanding of Indian healthcare and Indian regulatory scenarios. And that helps you know, uh, us build confidence with uh, those customers. Uh, customers want us to guide them with the regulatory strategy, uh, clinical strategy also, when it comes to such kind of customers. While some customers work on project to project basis as well, uh, we see, you know, we create significant value in terms of guiding them on their strategy. We have also seen that some companies have come to us and to India as a rescue country. Their clinical trials have, have not delivered as per what they were expecting in the other parts of the world. And then they expect us to uh, add sites and investors from India. So that's what we have seen with respect to customer expectations when they came to Sindhi and Clinical Development. Great, great. So can you share some of the uh, interesting work that your team is involved in uh, uh, in the clinical development space? Uh, so lots going on, especially COVID pandemic triggered a lot of work uh, that was related to COVID. Some companies have done repurposing of the old molecules that were already approved for some other indication and they thought that this indication, this molecule can bring value to COVID treatment. And lots of COVID repurposing trials are happening. We are also doing clinical trials for vaccines, which are, which are bringing significant value. A lot of biotherapeutics, a lot of antibody work that we are doing in our biomedical work. So that's, that's lots, lots of stuff going on with respect to how we are managing. Really, really proud to know about our contribution towards fighting COVID. Um, also, I was curious to know, so most of the clients uh, in the clinical development space are our repeat clients, right? So, what are some of the unique uh, uh, distinguishing factors about Sinjin that the clients find valuable? So, I can call out three things. One is the scientific value that we bring. You know, apart from executing a project as a project and just doing it as an execution partner, the scientific value that we bring to our uh, clinical trials is something that uh, customers rely on. Uh, second is our relentless focus on operational excellence. So every deliverable that we do is really tracked uh, very aggressively with respect to our operational excellence focus. And third is our strong regulatory track record. We have been inspected by US FDA uh, nine times, three times by EMA, once by MHRA, numerous times by Indian regulators and three times by uh, UK, uh, Brazil and Visa. So that's what our track record sort of builds that confidence that customers have to place work with us repeatedly. Great insights, Chetan. So, can we talk more about the capabilities uh, in the clinical development space sure. that we let's, have? Let's do that. So, Chetan, uh, you have been here with Sinjin now for uh, quite some time. Uh, tell me, how have you seen Sinjin's capabilities evolving? And uh, what are some of the new trends that we can expect in the near future? So we have really adopted to what the customers and more importantly, regulatory expectations have evolved. Because regulatory expectations keep on evolving with respect to biomedical methods, regulatory requirements and the reporting and other aspects. So we are really adopted over last years for that. In the near future, what we are looking at is to focus on early phase uh, clinical trials uh, in oncology and rare diseases. Uh, our phase one footprint, we expect to expand beyond Bangalore in the near future. In our biomedical space, we will focus on translational research, uh, biomarkers and such uh, interesting uh, analytical capabilities we will develop there. Uh, we are also looking at, uh, uh, you know, as Sinjin evolves to become an integrated discovery and development uh, company, we expect clinical development will get involved early in the conversation with client because clients will need handholding and ability to sort of envision their uh, clinical strategy and regulatory strategy very early. So that's where we are expecting things to evolve. Great. Great detailed insights, Chetan. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very Great. much. 
so we heard chetan talking to us about how rich experience and end to end subject knowledge help us cater to our clients in the best possible way and takes engine forward thank you so much for joining hope you enjoyed the conversation thank you